Think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me I'm sliding in the SRT but it feel like a ride And she calling my phone, I'm blowing up, she say I'm sorry I think I see better when I got my Glock beside me I'm rolling up some pressure just to hide the pain inside me I'm sliding in the Alright, so today, got a uh, leveling kit installed on a two-wheel drive uh, GMC Sierra. So, got the uh, leveling kit right here. So, this is all we're going to be putting in, just a coil spacer. Shouldn't have too much time wrapped up in this. Probably get this done within about an hour or two. And then, uh, I'm going to be moving on to uh, another project later on this week. So, this will be probably like a lengthy-ass vlog. Uh, it's pretty simple. Uh, so, I'm about to go ahead and knock this out real quick. And then uh, we'll see what it looks like. These got to be the most sketchiest fucking kits I can ever think of in my life. So you see I got two jacks up under here. Uh, I got them both pushing this damn spindle and everything up. Because uh, in order to get that little level spacer in there. I had to basically have the fucking control arm like this. In front of the truck to where it was flat. And then hoop it up to where I can get the jack up under it, push it all the way up, and then the spring sets itself. I had to take the uh, shock and compress it all the way down uh, with some zip ties just to get it in there because it was hitting on the back of the spring. It's still hitting back there. Uh, not too sure how this is gonna turn out. All right, so got this side done. Uh, pretty sure I showed y'all this, but got pretty much everything put back together and I put some uh, PB Blaster on everything that had a little bit of rust on it. Uh, so I'm gonna show you kind of how I got the shock in because the spring bows out a lot. So you're not gonna be able to stick the strut or you're not gonna be able to stick the shock straight into here and uh, let it go all the way up. So I just rigged this up, just put some zip ties on it, compress the shock so that way I can slide it all the way in. And uh, if you can see right here, I can slide it in through here and just, it's kind of hard doing this shit one hand but, and just like that just turn it around get the zip ties out of the way and just like that it's in so all i gotta do is put these bolts on the bottom and then uh just uh cut the zip tie let it go up through the top and then uh, put the bolt on it and then i got the control arm uh bolted to the spindle so all of this shit is solid the spring is not going anywhere uh, i made sure to put the spring back in the same orientation they were kind of spent uh, whenever I took them out so put them back in the right orientation so uh, like I said about to get this done and uh, get it complete so that way I can get it up out of here and see what it looks like all right so got it all complete just got to put these sway bar links in uh, everything is pretty maxed the fuck out I ain't even gonna lie to you so if you plan on doing this it's gonna be a headache from hell but it'll work uh, as you can see the upper angle isn't the best it's kind of slanted, so if you end up doing this, I definitely recommend uh, upper control arms. If you do anything with your suspension um, past like a three inch level on stock suspension or if you're stacking anything, uh, I definitely recommend getting some uh, extended or upgraded upper control arms because uh, it helps out the angles a whole lot. My best advice, if you got a two wheel drive truck like this that has the springs, uh, either get a lift kit or lower this bitch because stacking leveling kits on this and trying to uh you know put a lot of stuff in here is pretty hard because the spring like i said you have to sit it perfectly for it to seat inside the cup on the bottom so it's it's kind of sketch trying to get it done that's why i didn't put a lot of it on camera because it was pretty fucking sketchy all right she's all done so got everything torqued and uh got the wheels back on got it on the ground so this is how she's sitting uh, it's got a pretty decent gap in here. He could probably run like 35s if he cut a little bit of the bumper and stuff uh, But yeah, pretty good uh, gap So she's sitting pretty clean glad to be able to get it knocked out for him and uh, yeah Another clean truck coming out of here. So I guess we'll uh, pick up on uh, Whatever we got next I should have a leveling kit come we'll pick up uh, on the next bill. So let's move on All right, so now we got a two-wheel drive Sierra Denali. We're gonna be doing a three-inch Moto Fab leveling kit on this clean GMC Sierra Denali and uh, hopefully get this thing to where it's sitting perfect. Two-wheel drive, y'all know how the game goes. It take me an hour, maybe two hours to get it all done completely. So 
Uh, that's the plan. That's why I'm out here tonight, just to go ahead and knock this out so that way it'll be ready in the morning and uh, he can come pick it up whenever he's free and everything works out perfect. As you see, got the uh, shop heater out because, uh, yeah, it's getting cold out this bitch. But uh, it's like 40 degrees right now tonight and uh, it's supposed to get colder throughout the week. But, you know, we comfortable in here because it feels really toasty in this bitch. Yeah, man, about to go ahead and get started on this and uh, get this thing lifted. So I'll update y'all as soon as we get some progress done. Let's go. All right, so I got the leveling kit out the box. Some Moto Fab 3 inch leveling kit. And uh, got this side torn apart already. So this is uh, what I got going on. Like I said, y'all seen this shit a million times with uh, two wheel drive. This is really all you gotta do, man. I said it in the last video, I believe. Um, two wheel drive is simple as fuck, man. And you know, it's, it's pretty easy if you're trying to learn on stuff by yourself because it's a lot less components to have to deal with. And you can kind of learn how to get yourself into like doing these kits if you start on two wheel drive uh it'll really help out and then you can kind of challenge yourself with a 4x4 it's not really that hard putting these kits on man it's just you got to have attention to detail and you got to have some patience and know what you're doing you got to just be at least mechanically inclined or something got the level of kit installed and uh it's sitting pretty so uh it's all clean everything's ready to go this is day two and uh let's see what else we can get into uh for the next build all right, so today we got a 07 Silverado. It's a two-wheel drive, so we're gonna be putting uh, spindles on, a leveling kit, wheel lights, and uh, we're gonna be putting some tail lights and headlights in this. It's gonna be a whole different truck. So we got the tail lights sitting right here, all blacked out LEDs. These came off of that OBS that I used to work on a lot, and uh, this was actually his original setup, so he got them back. About to throw them on a new body, but I uh, got the spindles and everything right here, so. About to go ahead and get started, and this should be a pretty lengthy project. I got the heater out. It's it's cold as fuck outside today, and then the wind making it ten times worse. But I feel good in here right now. So, like I said, I'm about to go ahead and get get this shit started, get it up in the air, and then uh, we'll get to work on her and see where it goes from there. So, let's watch this damn transformation. Got the tail lights put in, and they're a whole lot better than the other ones. Uh, these ones here. They got the LEDs and uh, they look pretty good. Show you real quick. Go ahead and show you kind of what they look like. So that's what they look like. And they all glow uh, one at a time. So yeah, man, she looking good. So this shit should be done by the end of the night. Uh, that's my goal at least. Um, just so that way you can come pick it up in the morning and uh, it'll be ready to go. Cause a lot of this stuff, man, it don't take more than, you know, a few hours. So I like to combo a lot of stuff. If somebody has a lot of stuff that they want to get done, uh, you can just drop it off to me all at once. I get it knocked out. And like I said, man, it don't take me long at all. I don't like to hold people's shit. Cause I know how it is whenever I'm waiting on my truck and you know, I don't like to give out like specific dude, like specific dates, but I try to, you know, give somebody at least some decent time frame so that way they can arrange things. But yeah man I'm about to take me a break real quick and then we're gonna hop back on it let's get to it so i got this all done and uh this side is complete got the wheel light on here and uh got everything attached the new spindle is on here and the uh leveling kits on this bitch is sitting pretty tall so far uh the angles are all good so no worries about that so about to go ahead and start trying to wrap this side up and get started on the other side so that way i can go ahead and knock this one out and then uh as far as the rear wheel lights and stuff like that, I can knock those out uh, in a few. These have the drum brakes, so these are gonna be a lot simpler than doing the discs. Um, just gotta drill in the right place. But other than that, man, we're moving along and uh, getting a lot done. Boom. So, got the headlights installed, tail lights installed, got the front done. Uh, I tried to get it on camera, but my camera died, so I just went ahead and got it all done. But this is a three inch, spindle with a two and a half inch level on the bottom and uh it's looking real nice about to go ahead and uh knock some more progress out on this and uh hopefully the next time i pick up the camera everything will be pretty much done so let's get it and just like that we're done so got the wheels all mounted got everything torqued tight and uh the wheel lights are installed got everything ready to go so i'll show you a quick little test before i go in of the wheel lights and uh like I said, man, everything looked good. So here's how they look. 
Truck turned out pretty good. Uh, got it done all in the night and everything's looking fine. It's about 1.53, about to go inside. Uh, already got the shop cleaned up for the night and uh, I'll pull it out in the morning and see how she looks in the sun. So let's uh, fast forward to the morning. All right, so it's late at night and uh, got a quick little uh, wheel light install. Well, it's not gonna be too quick because you see everything's in pieces, but this is a Kibbe lighting, uh, all white quadro wheel light kit. Got everything up in the air right now and I'm about to take the rotor and the caliper off so that way I can drill straight through and I'll go ahead and get the bracket set up. Then I'll get the ring perfectly sized, drill that through and then go ahead and get that done. It's gonna be a little technical. Uh, that's why I got everything laid out and organized because I know I'm about to have to knock some shit out but I'm about to go ahead and get this done. Uh, almost forgot to pick up the camera for this shit so pretty sure y'all would like to see this. I'll be putting a few uh, Raw lights in the cross member as well, so we're gonna be knocking that out, running it all to a switch, and get it all clean and ready to go. So let's get to it. All right, so making some progress. Today is the next day. Didn't get a lot done uh, last night just because uh, it was just a little bit too much. I had to go grab a bunch of shit just to uh, make it work, but making it work. It's gonna be another late night for me tonight, so about to go ahead and uh, put these front wheels on and get to grinding on the rear. So let's get it. All right, so got the rears done. Got this side uh, without the wheel on it. So uh, got this one as close to perfect as possible. Just tried to get it uh, as neat looking as possible as I could with this design. But uh, went ahead and got that knocked out. And uh, y'all don't be believing me whenever I be telling y'all there be like a million fucking wasps and that's why I busted my window. Come on, come on. This is why I busted my window. Look at all these little motherfuckers. I killed all of these bitches tonight, just tonight, just because it was cold in there and then motherfuckers was just dropping, but that's at least like 20, 30 fucking hornets and I mean, you see, it's like a variety. You got some wasps, some yellow jackets, you know, just a little variety, but that's why I busted my fucking window out before and uh, yeah, I wasn't playing with them bastards. Uh, with these being kibbies, uh, they're bright as fuck. I've seen them a lot on Instagram. so. Uh, if you're looking for some bright wheel lights, definitely get these, but this is the work that you're going to have to put in to actually put them bitches on, and uh, it's not fun, but if you take the time to knock it out, man, it'll uh, it'll go smooth. So, like I said, I just got to wire each wheel light um, with the wiring that they gave me, uh, just positive and negative, and then put it to the switch, and uh, I think I'm going to wire it to one of these auxiliary fuses. I believe there's an auxiliary power fuse in here somewhere yeah i think there's one in here there's always an auxiliary spare in here somewhere that you could use but uh yeah this is basically what the fucking harness looks like so you got the uh switch here and it goes down to a relay with a positive and a negative and then it goes down to then it goes down to a positive and negative for, I guess, the front and the rears. Got everything tucked, cleaned up and out the way, and uh, it's all looking real nice. I ended up getting four rock lights put into the front cross member, so I'll show you kind of what I got going on in here. Uh, it's like five in the morning, so this is what I got going on on the inside. So just a little simple little switch, and as you see. All right, so here's the finished product. This shit look good. These are Quaro all white LED wheel lights. And they're bright as fuck. I think they're Kibby lighting. And then I got four rod lights in the cross member. Look good. 